Eyewitness News is your election headquarters. One of the biggest stories coming out of last night's election, City of Attleboro has a new mayor for the first time in 14 years. State Representative Paul Hero earned 54% of the votes just hours after winning the election. He started his day with a live interview on Eyewitness News this morning at 630. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima spoke with him. She joins us now with the details on what the new mayor plans to accomplish once he takes office. Mayor-elect Paul Hero will be sworn in on January 1st. He says his top priorities include establishing term limits, creating a disability rights commission, and improving the business climate in Attleboro. It has been my pleasure and honor to serve you. In With those capacity. words, incumbent mayor it's Kevin nice. Dumas conceded the election. There's a lot of things that we, uh, you know, just do differently. Our styles are very different. The way we ran our campaigns are different. You know, I ran, you know, kind of a bottoms up, going from one person to another, you know, door to door, and he ran more of a top down campaign. Campaign, holding big events. And Mayor-elect Paul Hero's canvassing efforts paid off. In the 34 years I've been here, um, I've only had two politicians come and knock on my door and ask me what I thought. And uh, Paul Hero did it twice, uh, when he was running for state rep and when he was running for mayor. Jim Garlic and, uh, says he thinks Dumas got too comfortable in his 14 years in office and that change was necessary. I don't think he paid enough attention to other areas besides the center of town. And uh, he's done a good job. He's kept the taxes, I thought, at a reasonable level. But um, it was time. But 46% of voters disagreed, including Roland Pocket. I voted for Kevin right from the get-go. He was a good mayor because in plain English, he had, to me, a brilliant brain when it came down to finances. Hero says he also plans to focus on finances. He wants to put the city's checkbook online for residents to view and stabilize the school budget. I would just ask people to, you know, give me a chance. I asked Hero how long he would serve as mayor. He told me if he couldn't accomplish all of his goals in six years, he shouldn't be leading the city anymore. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.